In step two, I'll focus on the darkest parts of this area. I need some thicker black and it's back to this old synthetic brush. This could work up here. What I did was I just pulled some of this thinner consistency, but not too much. I just rinsed the brush and wiped it on the towel. I pulled some of the thinner consistency up here to wake it up because it had dried on the palette. You can go back into the area where you mixed the blacks and bring some more in. In fact, that's what I did. This is the consistency of thin cream. What you would drink in coffee or tea. Rinse that brush and put it down and pick up the zero brush that's clean and dry. Pick up a bit of color on the edge of the puddle and you don't need much on the brush. I'll go into what will be the darkest parts. At this point it might help to adjust the brightness of the photo so you can see more details. I'll begin in this darker shape. Laying in just where the darkest parts will be. And I'm using the tip of the brush. I'm looking at the photo and what I do is I tend to create hair markings at one end. I often taper the other end thinner. I see some darker hairs within that shape that I'll put in now. I'm focusing on just the darkest parts. Don't feel like you have to perfectly copy the photo. I think that's it for that shape. Now look in this shape and I'm squinting as I look at the photo. It helps to see values when you squint. I just see a couple thin dark lines in this photo and these are going to serve as a guide as I move further into the painting. And that's about it for that shape. Now I'll go down here to this shape and it seems to be darker in value right here. Now what's happening is my colors drying on the palette bring a tiny bit of water into this puddle, just the tiniest bit to maintain the consistency of thin cream. If the color on the palette is too thick, it's difficult to apply it smoothly onto the paper. The consistency of thin cream seems to work best. That's it for that shape. I'll move to this shape. And now to this area where I see some more darks. Pick up just a bit of color on the clean, almost dry brush. I'll go along here. Again, don't feel like you have to perfectly copy the photo. Rinse the brush and wipe it on the towel before picking up new color. And that will keep the paint from clumping on your brush. And help you to create nice thin lines. I'm laying in some of these important lines that I included in the drawing. Rinse the brush and wipe it on the towel before picking up new color and you want to wipe the brush on the towel so that it's not wet because if the brush is wet you'll add additional water to the color on the palette and we don't want that. I want the brush to be dry when I'm picking up color. 
to maintain the consistency. All right, so there's that lighter shape. So I got a darker line right here. Now what I do is often I taper the ends thinner. So that end and that end, I try to get thinner. Get these darks in place now and they're going to be a helpful guide as you progress through the painting. Okay, I think I see one more. Rinse the brush, wipe it on the towel. I see one area down here that's darker and it's right here. That's a little pale. I think my consistency was too thin. As the color dries up here, you can start using it. Because as the color dries, it becomes thicker. Making sure that all the darks are in place. I think I'll just go along here right along the edge of that lighter shape. Using this consistency of thin cream. That's dry and I'll go over it again. See a little dark shape right here too. I'll move into this area. My phone ran out of memory before I had the chance to finish this, so here's what I did. I laid in the darkest parts of that area. 